Well, hopes of a big drought busting year are starting to look grim. We're coming off a record setting dry January, now a dry start to February. And ABC 10's Chief Meteorologist Monica Woods is looking at how agencies around the state are using emerging technologies to improve how we store water. Climate change is forcing California to rethink our water supply system, heading underground for what could be our biggest water storage potential. What's beneath our feet are about 500 plus groundwater basins in the state that are really important to our state's water supply. Steve Springhorn is part of the California Department of Water Resources team analyzing where these natural underground reservoirs exist and where water can be stored. Up until now, the mapping has been somewhat limited, but a new program called Aerial Electromagnetic Survey is helping to fill in the gaps. This data is a fundamental piece in understanding how the water gets from the surface into the groundwater system. The program uses a helicopter towing electronic equipment to scan below the surface, kind of like an MRI of the area. Project manager Catherine DeLubeck says knowing what's underground makes a big difference in where we can store water. There are certain materials in the subsurface that allow for groundwater to flow more easily through, and those are typically coarse grain materials like sands and gravels. Uh, the finer grain materials like silts and clay, those typically inhibit water flow. This is critical information for sustainability projects like the Regional Water Authority's Water Bank, an underground natural reservoir in the American River Basin, two times the size of Folsom Lake. Right now, there's a little bit higher flows on the American River. It's a way for us to capture some of those flows right now and put it into the groundwater basin to be used. Uh, in the summer. Ryan says this allows more flexibility and a bigger portfolio of water storage. A growing challenge as climate change continues to affect the extreme weather events that deliver both needed water but also drought conditions.